Hello there everybody and welcome back to Dead Space. And when we left off we had been dealing with some of those wall birthy thingies that I really find very annoying. I think those are the last ones we're going to see in the whole game. I think. Don't quote me on it, I'm probably wrong though in my luck. Anyway. Right now we've got a small, I suppose you could call it, side quest we have to deal with. We have to get the marker across this room but to do that we need to raise the bridges but to raise the bridges we have to turn the power back on which means going through here zero more zero gravity oh, come on yes you can yes you can fine then don't I'll walk shall I That's really what you want me to do. I'll walk. Sure, you give me six ammo when it takes me about twelve to bloody kill you. Ungrateful. Completely ungrateful. Ah, now this one we do have to jump through. Whee! I do like the uh, zero gravity mechanic in this one. Don't get me wrong, it's better in the second one when they gave you the proper jetpack. But... I will say for... Uh, you know, considering most games haven't really used zero gravity before, did a pretty damn good job. Zero gravity was often thought of as being too fiddly. Running, 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 running. Hello, I missed you. What are you doing? Fuck her off. Oh, nuts to this. Sometimes it's just not worth it in the long run, you know? Really, really isn't. Anyway, we're done. We're out. Sort of. So I can find the blooming path up. Oh, hello, I missed you. Yes, I'm probably gonna need that. Because we have another one of those big guys. Hello. You're going to try to charge me, is that it? Ah! Alright, time to slice you into pieces. Hi! Oh dear, I ran out of, um, there's a recharge knocking about here somewhere. There you are. That's the problem. This guy's the darker shade, which makes him considerably tougher. Thank you. That was the only thing that was never going to bloody happen. Annoyance. I need a medium health pack. Anyway, we can start moving this across now. Finally. <sighs> the things I have to go through just to satisfy some arbitrary bullshit. 
is really quite inconvenient in the long run. In you go. There we go. And I just nip to the shop because it's, it's not quite the last one, but I've got a big, big fight coming up. Big fight. Um, keep all that. Get rid of one of those. Don't think we need that much force energy. Wait, hang on. And we'll buy a whole bunch more plasma energy because we're going to need it. The shite is about to hit the fan. Not quite in this room, but in the room after that, trust me. Of course, we've got to wait for these big ass doors to close. You know, I don't know who designed this, but this is massively inconvenient. Like, really inconvenient, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. See that music and that sound isn't actually supposed to be happening now. It's a weird glitch that happens sometimes. Um, that the music and sound effects happen before the actual visual, before you're supposed to see the visuals happen. And it's a weird little glitch. And, um, and so yeah, just imagine that sound happening when I say it's supposed to be happening. And it'll be much better for you. I've got to gather all the items. I've, I've got to get all the items. I think um, all the characters I play, because I play them, probably have some measure of OCD. I don't have OCD, or at least I've never been diagnosed with OCD. Um, but I, I, I do like to collect things. Wait for it. Okay, now the sound effect is supposed to be playing. See, look, it gets that one right, but the music is supposed to be playing as well. And that's not right. Hmm, they're giving me a lot of ammo. Is there a reason for that? Mm, quite possibly. Across. Can we go across there? Oh, good, we can. It wasn't 100%. I was. My, my mind was saying, yeah, you can. But part of me was saying, are you sure about that? I was questioning my own actions. Whoa! I forgot about that. Where'd you come from? Oh, I am dead. Got it. Come on. Can you come? For the record, this is sort of the easier way to do it. Sort of.
Hurry up and activate already. Woo, it worked. Thank you, Isaac. Hi, Nicole. I always believed in you. I knew you'd return to me. See we are whole again, Isaac. We are whole. This is the thing that kind of confuses me. Because it's never clear whether the marker... I mean, the marker seems to create the necromorphs, but it also seems to contain them. Emergency. Geo-orbital gravity tethers offline. That's not Tectonic good. Load released. Impact imminent. Yes. This area it's very imminent. Except for the fact there's no actual timer on the screen, so you know for a fact you can take as long as you want. Although I will say... That looks pretty damn awesome. Then again, that looks pretty damn awesome too. Yeah, marker. Anyway. Yeah, so it's never clear whether the marker, because the marker wants to be returned to the pedestal in order to seal in the necromorphs. So are the, so how does the marker create the necromorphs? You see, it, it's very unclear, actually. But, um, yeah, we have things to do. Of course it is. Cutscene incoming. I'd have liked you to. Of course I am. How come you don't need a kinesis module to pull that thing around? That's cheating. I like how it actually zooms in. That's a nice touch. Cinematic. I like it. Yeah, yeah, we've seen this part. Skip to the end. It's always strange. Mm. I didn't want it to end like this. But it did. I really wanted to see you again. Just once. I loved you. I know. I always loved you. So... In case you couldn't tell, yeah, she's been dead the whole time. It's like big shocker, like that surprised no one. You don't say. Still coming. Goodbye, See what I mean about there not being a timer? I don't know if a timer would have made it better or worse or what. Now here's the thing. I take the short route. It's technically sort of slowed down because of this goopy stuff, but it's still a much shorter route. She still beats me. I don't get that. <sighs> I also don't get to kill her myself, which was a bit annoying. Yep, still coming down. Whoa. I think the hive mind is a little pissed. Okay. Plenty of stuff, lots of items and ammo. 
and we're getting ready for the final encounter. And we got five minutes left, so I'm gonna uh, keep going, even if it ends up being over 20 minutes. Um, this is the last episode. Definitely. Okay, so we've got plenty of large. Sell that. Plenty of plasma energy. Lots of plasma energy, that's good. Plenty of force gun energy. No, no, I don't want to sell it. I want to move it. One, two, three, four, five large med packs. Plasma. Fingers crossed. But just to be on the safe side, I'm going to make a save too. Just in case. I shouldn't die. It would be pretty damn galling if I get all this way through the game and then die on the last friggin' boss. That would be terrible. But I guess we'll see what happens. Hello! Hi! How did, how did he like know she was there? And to kill her and not Isaac? Anyway, you see what I mean about the two people in this game that you want to kill? You don't get to kill? I mean, you got Dr. Mercer down on the planet, uh, down on the planet, up on the ship, and you've got her. You don't get to kill either of them. And that's annoying. That's very annoying. Hi! Alright. The glowing yellow spots. Could they perhaps be a weakness? Call it a hunch. Oh dear. Why am I not shooting five shots? You'll see. It's all part of a plan. Oh dear. I'm weakening each one individually on purpose. You'll see why. Hello. I'm pretty sure the one at the top was the big one that I'd shot a couple of times. Fucking stop it. Hold still. Gotcha. See, that's why I was pre-shooting them, because that gives you then uh, less shots you have to hit when you're hanging upside down. And it's a very good tip for um, beating the boss a little easier. hit one of those explosives. You're not supposed to do that. Oh dear. Ah! That's a new one on me. I've never seen him do that before. I've played this game a dozen times. He's never done that. open up your weak spot or what? Come on.
Got one of them at least, I think. Oh, sideways. Yeah, tentacle dodging is the easier part. Very easy. Two down, three to go. Sorry if my commentary becomes a little lackluster during this, but um, I am concentrating. I think the reason why I didn't manage, I didn't, um... Oh, there goes another one. I think what it is, is every time you destroy one of those yellow things, his, um animation cycle, or his attack pattern I should say, resets, and usually I'm quicker than I uh, was the first time. Yep, come on. You know, I, I am kind of curious. The people, like, you know, however many hundreds of years ago, that all this crap was going down the first time, you know, like when they took the um, the marker here, activated it, and created the necro, this, well, this thing. Did nobody notice the giant glowing yellow spots? There it goes. Like, really, did nobody notice that? I mean, you'd think it would have been an obvious weak point. I can only guess, like people in sort of the future have never played video games so they don't know to look for the glowing spot whoa hi I can only assume that's the reason why they just didn't know to look for it and as for the marker can you even take it up there no you can't okay no you can't do anything with the marker except for getting the hell out of here now this is another thing I don't understand it's locked, and then it magically opens. Why? Like, well, I, don't, I don't get what the implication of that is supposed to be. I mean, I don't know, unless the marker actually did that? It was the marker just letting Isaac go? Perhaps? I don't know. This is the thing. There's, um... There's not specifically any sort of explanation for that, which is an odd thing to sort of end the game on with a mystery that, as far as I know at least, is never solved. Still, we beat the game! Hooray! And we get to see Isaac's face one last time. But we still don't get to hear his voice until the next game, because they just arbitrarily decided to to take him from a, a silent protagonist to a voice protagonist. Oh look, it's the video again. Isaac, I wish I could talk to you. I'm so <sighs> But at least we're safe and sound. Or are we? Pretty pointless jump scare, really. Just end on the jump scare. Yes, of course, why not? Because clearly that's how you want to end a game. Anyway, that was Dead Space. A very good, if not very scary, horror game. It's not really scary. It's, it, it does have moments of really good atmosphere. The issue with the scares is that the enemies are so in your face, like all the friggin' time, that you don't, they don't really leave you moments to just appreciate the atmosphere. There are a couple. When you first get on board the ship, and you know there's something going on there, it's a little creepy, but the enemy, again, the enemies show up too soon. They should have taken a, they should have, introduced, even if you can battle the enemies, there's, you know, it should leave a while before they're introduced. I mean, if you look at, um, say alien isolation right now the alien doesn't show up in alien isolation as like a proper enemy for quite a while you sort of catch glimpses of it 
and you can make it appear earlier if you're not cautious enough. But the alien can't be defeated. You can defeat all the other enemies in the game, the humans, the androids, but the alien can't be defeated. It's completely invulnerable. So the fact you have weapons in alien uh, isolation is still lends itself to scares because the best it can do is scare the alien off and buy you 30 seconds of breathing room. Chance to hide again and for it to lose you. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I think alien isolation is what Dead Space should have been. Like, you know, you should have, rather than making the necromorphs these, like, enemies that you have to defeat a thousand of, there should have been just, like, a small handful of them, and they make them really, really tough to beat. And so your only real choices are running or hiding. But I guess that sort of wasn't the game they wanted to do. You know, I mean, this is clearly um, more of a Resident Evil 4 style game. Because when Resident Evil 4 came around, it, it changed quite a lot. It was an over-the-shoulder, one that actually focused specifically on over-the-shoulder rather than just general third person. Uh, with the upgrades and all that other stuff. And, you know, I think generally Resident Evil 4, it did a lot for a sort of game development. It didn't really do much for horror. I wouldn't really say Resident Evil 4 is a scary game. There are moments, again, but it's not massively scary. And then, of course, there's Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6, which are less, even less scary and all that stuff. But, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe Dead Space would have been scarier if it had been more like Alien Isolation. But then Alien Isolation might have seemed like more of a ripoff if it hadn't been. Alien Isolation is a fantastic horror game. I love it. Um, well, Alien Isolation has its problems as well, but I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever do a Let's Play of Alien Isolation. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Um, so we'll see what happens. I already have my next Let's Play uh, ready to go. Um, it is another horror game, but it's um, not one I've played before, so I'll be going into it blind. And of course, blind horror Let's Plays are often far more entertaining. Um, I'm not sure how long these credits go on for. I think you can just skip straight to the menu. And I think I'm going to do that now. So anyway, um, thank you all for watching everybody. Oh yeah, that's right. It's going to want me to save and stuff, isn't it? So yeah, thank you all for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this Let's Play of this sort of classic... Well, it's, it's a horror genre, but it's not really a horror game. Everybody knows that. Um, oh yes, you get all these bonuses and stuff, don't you? But anyway, yeah, thank you all for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one for... it's. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's a relatively new horror game. It, it's been out for a while, but the full release has only recently come out. Um, um, it is it is quite scary. I've seen some uh, video uh, videos of it around. I haven't seen a huge amount. Just like people seem to think it's a very scary game, so I'm sort of looking forward to playing it. And it should be good, good fun, and good and, and interesting. I hope. I hope. I've, I've actually been kind of looking forward to it because this game, because this has taken actually a lot longer than I thought it was going to, this game has kind of stopped me from playing that. So I'm, I'm really eager and looking forward to being able to play this new game now. So anyway, um, thank you all for listening to my inane babble. I will see you in the next part. Please, please, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the good stuff, please, because seriously, I have not had a proper comment on any of my videos for a long time long time i could do with some if it's all the same to you please seriously so anyway yeah do all that and i'll see you in the next part guys bye